All right, so here we are. We're going to work on cutting a quill. I'm going to show you how. The first cut is a scoop that then curves to a straight at the end of this quill. Um, the next cuts that you do are on either side. So you can see coming in from the side, a little bit down from where that first cut started, and scooping in, it's a very similar scooped shape, and then tapering to a point. And so we've done that on the first side. We then have to go in and do the same thing on the other side. Um, you can flip it around and push away from yourself. I tend to cut towards myself. There are different methods and different techniques. You always want to leave these a little bit wider than you want, even them up, clean them up a little bit. The reason is, is it's easier to carve things down and pare them down to shape than it is to uh, have to completely redo the cut because it's too wide. So trim that down one more time, just kind of paring down a little bit. And I've left it a little wider than it needs to be initially. So then I'm going to set it down onto the page. And I'm going to split that tip. So this is upside down with the cuts that I just made facing up. And push the point of that knife in and rock it down to split that tip all the way. And then see that there's two tines there. And so that part is hard to get right and hard to get centered. Uh, I then lay it down, add, apply just a little bit of pressure, and then cut it at about a 45 degree angle to nip off the end and to trim that very end to get the finished tip. So I'll show you what that tip looks like. Um, and so there it is, this one's slightly oblique, uh, depending upon your angle of writing, whether perfectly flat or perfectly oblique. And then there is, you can kind of see a chisel 45 degree end at the end of that quill. And so that should be ready for writing. You can then pare it down a little bit if you need that.